Welcoming a new ragdoll kitten to your home can be exciting. Oh, look at that. Toby just gave him his belly. That's a sign of trust and vulnerability. Oh, y'all. I am the cat butler, and my two ragdoll cats, Timo and Aria, are the stars of the channel. But today, we will follow a subscriber of this channel, Alessandra, as she picks up her ragdoll for the first time. We followed Alessandra in a previous video when she picked up Toby. But today, she is picking up Toby's brother, Wilbur. Will Toby and Wilbur get along? Let's find out. Hi everyone. I am so excited to be back on the Cat Butler's channel and to be with you all as you accompany me on my ragdoll journey. For those of you who don't know, my name is Alessandra and I was featured on the Cat Butler's channel several months ago as you all followed along with me on my journey to pick up my very first cat ever, my ragdoll kitten, my seal lynx boy, Toby. And it has been such an incredible experience, y'all. Like he is the most loving, friendly, affectionate, playful little boy. And it's been such a beautiful experience to be his mom. Um, but I have to say that there is one regret that I have about the entire experience. And it's the fact that I did not get him a litter mate, a companion to grow up with. And um, so I'm very excited to take you along with me as I go to pick up his baby brother. And for those of you who have been following along on my journey, know that I had initially planned to pick up a sister for him several months ago, but there were some timing complications and I had to let her go, which was so sad. But I'm so excited um, for his baby brother. He's absolutely adorable and I can't wait for you all to meet him. There have actually been a few updates since the last time we met. And Toby and I officially moved from our one bedroom apartment rental in Boston to my family home in Miami, Florida. And that was such an adventure. It was so much fun to travel together and to bring him to my childhood home and introduce him to my family and to his golden retriever brother, Watson, and his husky sister, Akira. And they are actually the best of friends. It is so much fun but I'm really excited for him to have a playmate who is more similar to him in their play styles and that sort of hunting and prowling and chasing. Um, and so I'm, I'm very excited for that as well. So this is a bedroom and I've opened the windows. <laughs> There's Toby. He loves to sleep on paper. It is the funniest thing. And look at how angelic and cute he is while he's sleeping. I love him so much. So anyways, a few things that I did to prepare this base camp. I raised the blinds on the windows so that the kitten has natural cat TV. He can look out and see any bugs or squirrels or birds or rustling leaves that might catch his attention and keep him, give him some entertainment. I also have some items in this bedroom that he can um, rub up against and leave his scent so that he can start feeling confident in his ownership of the items in this room. So we have a little cat cave here in case he loves to, to dwell inside and, and feel burrow. Um, I have a cat tunnel. I have some cat scratchers as well, where he can, again, leave his scent. Of course, a litter box is really important. It's the most important scent soaker that you can give to a cat. I also have, of course, his bowls for food and water. And I have a separate water fountain as well for him to drink from. Of course, his cat bed 
and a cat tree right by a window where he can look out into, I guess in this case, the greenery. One other really important detail that I have here that's gonna become really relevant later is this baby gate. And I will be using this in the process once I'm actually ready for Toby and his little brother to see each other face to face. But I won't use this gate just yet. Understand that traveling with a pet can be really stressful and I've only done it once before with with Toby but this is gonna be a new experience because my little guy does not know who I am I'm gonna be extremely unfamiliar to him he's gonna be in a very chaotic stressful environment a lot of different sounds different smells there's no relationship that we have so it's it's gonna to be tough for the little guy, so I'm doing the best that I can to make it as peaceful as possible. So. Hi everyone, so I'm at the airport now where I'm gonna pick up my little guy. And I'm kind of just pacing around because the breeder texted me and she won't be here for another half hour. So, whew, the anticipation, but it's okay. It's a nice airport. It's really, it's a really quaint, very clean. So I'm just gonna, just gonna find somewhere to sit and uh, patiently wait. <sighs> so excited. I know. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. Uh, I know we you're love scared. you, but you gotta. It oh. matches your eyes. <laughs> you're great. It's so fancy. It matches your eyeball. Keep all of you and your whiskers in there. There we go. We have a bag of stuff. We've had food and a small bag of dry in case you guys got stranded by something um, and then you said you brought true rooms, but I brought these for him too. The best, do the best. Um, so there's a couple of his favorite ones in here. He, do not leave this one lay around because he will keep you straight right it. off and he will take the worm with him okay. and not let anybody else play. Um, there's a blanket that's from my home. There the is best. a tunnel in here and down at the bottom there's a couple of toys too. So that's his hoodie bag. Okay, and then he's officially yours. Um, and I double checked again yesterday just to be sure he has two testicles, so his uterus should be very basic. <laughs> okay, great. I am gonna miss you. You are my most favorite. Yeah. Really? He, I would have kept him if I could if justify it, but I cannot justify it. I am it. so, I, I saw him and I fell in love with him. Like, oh. That's fine. It's good. Okay, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. All awesome. right. Well, it shouldn't take you long to get back on. This airport's so small, it's like, you, you, uh, yeah. 
you know, um, but do let me know when you guys land tonight. Let me know if you have any questions. Did you bring any coffee pads with you? I did. He's in one right now. Okay, all right, because I have a couple in the car. If not, he may leave you a present. He may have me. All right. All right. I wish you the best, Shauna. Thank you. You are so welcome. You're awesome. He is worth the trip from Miami. Okay. Great. All right. Let me know how the bag goes tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. How do you feel? Oh my gosh, I am so excited. He's <laughs> more beautiful than I could have anticipated. Mm -hmm. He's, oh. He's adorable. And the fact that she wanted to keep him. Says it all. As, right. Speaks I guess volume. she does this a lot too. Right? <laughs> okay. So I did wind up putting the harness on him and he is such a love bug. He's purring in my arms. What's his name? Did you name him? And this is Wilbur. Wilbur. So he's my my little ginger baby. Oh. Hey, hi, Wilbur. I'm so impressed, guys. He's just letting me hold him. He's not. I mean, he's feisty in there. He's he's crying, but he just wants to be held. And I'm so new to him. He doesn't know who I am. So they're checking my bag for the cat food and the litter that I have in there. <laughs> and Wilbur is crying up a storm. Hi. I know. Hi, Wilbur. So I'm just letting him poke his head out so that he can get to see the world and explore by scent. No, I know you want to get out. He cried quite a bit in the carrier, but once he was on our flight, he quieted down for quite a bit. Or maybe it was that I couldn't hear him with all the loud noises of a flight. Um, but I think he might be asleep now. Let's, let's take a look. I'm dying to see him. so happy guys he is the cutest little guy i can't wait to take him home i can't wait to snuggle him check out wilbur's feet they're so cute i left the flap open on his carrier just in case he woke up and wanted to say hi but instead he has stretched out a few times and now his little paws are poking out. Sorry for the announcement there in the background. <laughs> Look at how cute they are. I'm dying to touch them, but I don't want to wake him up. Oh. Hi, Will. Look at that face. Look at that cute face. My baby. Look at that, I knew it. He'd come right out like a little rocket. Hi. So I have my very helpful mom filming me right now, but the breeder actually, I was gonna say the breeder actually gave me some used litter from her house that I can use. And I wanna go grab that because he hasn't used the litter box all day. And I hope that he'll use it now. So let me go get that and I'll be right back. All right, so now I am going to pour some of this litter that the breeder gave me into his litter box. Okay, so 
I'm guessing he's a little hungry since he hasn't eaten all day. So I'm gonna use the food that the breeder gave me for today because I don't want too many changes in his regular routine. So let's see if he eats a little bit. <laughs> Wilbur. Here we go. Good job. So here I am using a mixture of the Pidan Tofu Litter, which I really love. It is so great at eliminating odors. There's no tracking whatsoever. And the gray that you see is the Breeders Litter. Hi! Oh, you like that, huh? Y'all, he is so affectionate. Look at him. Hi, baby. Hi. Off you go. Oh, hi, Wilbur. Do you all hear that purr motor on him? You gonna let me play with your paws? You gonna let me touch your paws? About the underside. Ooh, look at you. Y'all, he's letting me grab his paws. You can stay here forever. You know that, right? Check this out. Hi. I'm holding my little guy and we have our two dogs, a Husky and a Golden Retriever. So you can see his body language, he is a little bit tense, he's nervous. <laughs> our Golden Retriever got neutered last week, so he's wearing the cone of shame. coming to say hi. Look at how excited they are to meet you, Wilbur. Look at this little muffin. Look at this little muffin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all, he has not stopped purring since he woke up this morning. Oh, look who's getting ready for his first nap. You gonna take your first nap of the day? How am I supposed to get up from here, ever? Oh. <laughs> Hi, Toby. So it is the morning of our third day and as soon as I opened the door to Wilbur's base camp, Toby just ran right up to the door. Hi. So I think he's just very curious about what's on the other side. So 
So Toby left. Oh, there he is. <laughs> How you feeling, buddy? <laughs> Still unsure. Mm -hmm. You're curious, huh? What's behind that door? I know. You're doing so well. Let me see if I can get you to come closer, okay? Yeah, I have these chicken treats. I know you love them. Okay. Come. Come with me, baby. Hold on. Can you follow me to the door? I'm gonna push your challenge line a little bit. Good job, good job. Good job. Look at you, okay. You earned that one, here you go. That's good, we can hear Wilbur meowing in the other room. So Toby will push himself to get close to the door, but he doesn't like to stay there for too long. That's okay. Little by little. Okay, we're gonna try this again. This time with Toby's favorite treat. Haha, <laughs> you got excited. Okay, come. I can hear a soft purr here. It's good. He'll eat a treat. Can you get even closer to the door, Toby? Look at that. Out of the door. Oh, some hissing there. Growling. So I want to incorporate some visual introduction because I do think that it would speed things along and Toby is a chill enough easygoing cat that I think he would adapt quickly. And of course Wilbur's so little and he just came from a household with a lot of cats. I don't want him to forget that memory. It's already been eight days. So, and earlier today he saw the dogs through the window and he's seen them a few times, but as you saw, I cracked open the window and he was really receptive to them. So I want to try this out. Toby? Who wants to play? Oh, okay. That's okay, that's okay. Don't be afraid. Look. He's so little. Look at that. Look. Just Toby. Toby, that's okay. He's just sitting down. He doesn't want a problem with you. Okay, so my mom is holding little Wilbur. While I'm here with Toby. How you doing, Toby? Okay. You're still observing. You want some churro? Good job, Toby. You're able to eat treats. Wilbur! See if we can get Wilbur to come. A little closer. Here you go. Here you go, sir. Are you curious? Do you want to join them?
Okay, come play. Come on. That's okay. That's okay. Come here. Wilbur, you're not scared of Toby, right? Y'all, this is in the span of about 10 minutes. Good job. So Wilbur's not feeling super threatened. He's still playful. Good job. How about you? How about you, Toby? Are you gonna play? No? You're just gonna let Wilbur have all the fun? Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Good job, Toby. Good job, Toby. Good job. Good job. Good job. That's good. Good job. It would be amazing if they touched noses. Oh, Toby. Toby. That's okay. The important thing is that they go at their own paces. Wilbur. Okay, we're getting testy. So this is the second time I'm introducing them. Y'all, I think we are witnessing the very first time they played together.
Here's the other. Oh. Good job, Toby. Sorry, y'all. It's funny. Y'all are funny. Look at that. Toby just gave him his belly. That's a sign of trust and vulnerability. <laughs> oh, y'all. Look at this. This is after half hour a visual introduction. I want to thank Alessandra for allowing us to experience her first day with her beautiful cat, Wilbur, and giving an update on Toby. Hopefully, you get a sense of what that would be like when you get your own ragdoll cat. Alessandra. Toby and Wilbur are super lucky to have you as a cat parent. You are patient and kind. I can't wait to see how Toby and Wilbur grow up together. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Comment down below, what was your first day like with your new ragdoll kitten? <laughs>